Welcome to Olympian Cares, giving the best in water testing and analysis. Today we're looking at the Manhattan New York Quality Water Report, and we're going to see is Manhattan's water safe to drink and where does it come from? So first of all, where does Manhattan, New York City, get its water? It gets its water from 19 reservoirs, three controlled lakes spread across a 2,000 square mile watershed. The watershed is not located in New York City, rather upstate in portions of the Hudson Valley and Catskill Mountains that are as far as 125 miles north of the city. A map of the watershed and reservoirs can be found on the inside of the front cover of this report. New York City Water Supply System, Public Water System Identification Number, consists of three individual water supplies called the Catskill Delaware Supply, located in Delaware, Green, Schoher, Sullivan, and Ulster, and the Croton Supply. New York City's original upstate supply in Putnam, Westchester, and Dutchess County, and a groundwater supply in the Southeast Queens, although the Department of Environmental Protection, DEP, has a permit to operate the groundwater supply from that system has not been delivered to customers in many years. In 2017, Manhattan received a blend of drinking water from Catskill, Delaware, and Croton supplies. The Catskill, Delaware supply provided approximately 97% of the water, and approximately 3% was supplied by Croton. So, does Manhattan have a fluoride in its water? No, it was not detected. However, is it safe to drink? So, we're taking a look at bromide, dichlorine, methane, and the third-party independent testing found this utility exceeds health guidelines for drinking water contaminants as one of the total TTHMs, and that's form of disinfectants such as chlorine are used to treat tap water, where some of the risks of it, cancer, kidney, and liver damage, and other disinfectant products that increase the risk of cancer may cause problems during pregnancy. Then with chloroform, which is the third-party independent testing, found this utility exceeds the health guidelines for this drinking water contaminant, and chloroform is a TTHM as well, which is form of disinfectants are used to treat tap water. And most of the chloroform found in the environment comes from the industry. This can cause a lot of problems as well, such as cancer, central nervous system problems, liver, kidneys, and cancer of the liver and kidneys developed in rats and mice that ate food or drank that had large amounts of chloroform. Then there's chromium. The third-party independent testing found the utility exceeds the guidelines for this drinking water, and the movie Aaron Brockovich showed the public the great suffering the little town of Hinkley, California experienced to having excellent chromium in their drinking water. It's a carcinogen that commonly contaminates American drinking water, and it is quite dangerous. And drinking water may be due to industrial pollution or natural occurrences and deposits in groundwater. Then of dichloric acid, that is a third-party independent testing, for utility that exceeds health guidelines for the drinking water contaminant, and it's one of the five halolytic acids of the chloritic acid family, and it's essentially a chemical compound in the medical research, especially in cancer treatment, and it's also a trace product of chlorination of the drinking water. Then it also tested high for TTHMs as well, and tricholytic acid. So, is it safe to drink the water in Manhattan? Well, it's up to you to decide. However, third-party independent testing did find a lot of these chemicals to be higher than normal, so it's always a good idea if you're in Manhattan or any other city to have your water periodically tested by experienced professionals.